All right, in the last video, we talked about how you can uh, do a Google Hangouts in order to do discipleship on the internet. And what I'm going to do is take you back through the process just kind of as a review. And we'll also talk about some of the functions that, uh, that are in Google Hangouts that you can use. So the first thing you do is go to your Gmail account. Look for your name up here. Click on that. Look for home. Over on the left hand side, drop down to Google Hangouts. Click on that. And then you got three options up here at the top home hangouts on the air and video hangouts let me talk about hangouts on the air real quick if you do this um, that's not what I wanted but let's go back to home here if you go down here to start a hangout on the air what this will do is it will be a live stream and record for you and when you're finished it will automatically put a video or store a video in your YouTube account so you'll have if you're part of uh, Google Hangouts you're gonna automatically have a YouTube account as well and it will store that video in the YouTube account. It's great for doing online training and recording it for others to look at. So enough about that. Let's go back to video hangouts and we're going to start a video hangout. Okay. Now we have options here. Here's the URL or the web address. I can include a message. I can put in there um, addresses, email addresses, or names of people in my Google circles. Let's do this. I'm just going to cut and paste this in a Facebook message just to show you one more way to do this. So I'm going to send a Facebook message to my wife. And all I have to do is cut and paste that web address or URL in there. And then it will send that to her and she can just click on that and join us. But she won't be doing that for real because we're just practicing. Okay. Now, one of the things you can see here, this is a good opportunity you need good lighting. A lot of times when people use Google Hangouts, they don't have very good lighting. So it would be good to put yourself in front of a window like right here. If your computer was facing a window, you'd get good light. I have a little light right here that works really well. Okay, here's another way to invite people. Another thing, notice I'm wearing earbuds with a microphone. This really cuts down on echoes and audio problems. So if everybody has a set of earbuds with a microphone, that works really good. Now there are times when there are several people in the room and that's not possible. Just keep your volume down. Uh, it can be medium so that people can hear it, but if it's real loud, you're gonna get an echo and then uh, once you get that, it's pretty distracting. All right. Now, let's say that uh, I'm having trouble either seeing or hearing folks. So what I would do is go up here to this little gear, the settings. And this is a way that you can set different settings, what microphone, what audio you have, um, how you know which camera you're using. And you can just choose and play with this a little bit until you get the right settings. A lot of times if people can't hear you or see you, this is where you go to troubleshoot that and you just try some different things. So 
Then uh, you've got this will hang up. This will leave the call. Here's uh, you can adjust the quality of the bandwidth that you're using. You can be HD or just standard. You can mute your video. So you can cut it off if you are eating or something, you know. You can mute your video and then unmute it by just clicking on it again. You can mute your audio. Now you can't hear me, but actually you can hear me because I'm using a separate recording device, but no one else on the Google Hangout would be able to hear you. And then, of course, you have the um, invite other people right here. So now uh, over here on the far left side, you have kind of the apps that you can install. This one's really important, especially if you're doing discipling online, is the chat. It opens up a little chat box over here on the right and you can use it to type stuff to each other and it's, it comes in handy but I'll tell you what I really like about it is if you're going to direct people for instance let's go to uh, one of the parts of our web page uh, we want to talk about iron on iron and we've got a link here so all we have to do is select that link and then throw it up here in the chat and then all people have to do is to click on that link and immediately it sends them without dropping you out of your video chat it sends you to that link on your web page so that's a really handy a uh, little feature right there and you can put all kinds of things if you need to break up in small groups what you do is you have people leave and set up a video chat they they just simply select their URL and send it to you on a Facebook message or an email and then when you get it you can come over here and post it in your in your uh, chat section of the Google Hangouts and then people can just cut and paste that and drop out of your call and then paste it into the URL of another web page in the address and then they can join the call. So I've just joined my own call. Now it won't show me because I'm part of two calls now so it doesn't work that way. So uh, that's a really handy uh, little feature. If you need to separate, like you can see those two web addresses are kind of uh, bunched together. All you have to do is do something like that and then you can s separate them so that people know what you're talking about in the chat. All right, so that's the chat box. That's really important. Um, share screen or screen share this you can do YouTube videos this way you can do all kinds of things uh, through this uh, process here I'll share my web page so now what we can talk about the web page and use the web page and if you scroll on your web page it'll scroll with the video so it just stays up with you. By the way, little advertisement, if you want to uh, do uh, generational mapping, here's a good video on that. It's on the Iron on Iron section of Jesus Up In and Out, J-U-I-O dot net. Anyways, that's a little commercial. All right, so that's screen sharing. Once you want to get out of that, you just click on it again. And... Uh, you're you're out of it this right here is you can take a picture of your group is kind of neat just click on that and take a picture and there you go not very flattering but you can uh, come to these pictures here and uh, 
just enlarge them and then drag and drop them to your desktop and that that way you can copy it it's kind of neat if you got a bunch of people that you're working with and you want to take a picture of the whole crew it's pretty neat uh, I'm the control room um, it's not available um, then um, you can get to your Google Drive and pull in documents from your Google Drive that's kind of a neat little um, little app so you can share those and then there's all kinds of little effects and gadgets and, but um, you'll just have to play with those so those are some of the things that are helpful in your and Google Hangouts and discipleship um, one of the neat things is um, you can actually have everybody mute, muted except for the person talking a lot of times there's background noises dogs kids ambulances you know you name it there's all kinds of background noise so to mute yourself you can either go up here and click on mute and everybody's nice and quiet while the one person's talking you can also mute other people by coming over or hovering over on this little arrow and just click mute and it'll mute them so all the people will be lined up right here and you can mute anybody or unmute them if you need to all right so uh, I think you have got enough to go on with Google Hangouts if you've got questions about this just uh, uh, put them on Facebook and or uh, here on the video and we'll try to help you out again uh, a lot of people are having a global influence in a very short period of time in a matter of months and we're going to the nations using this technology for Jesus sake and his glory so keep making disciples